Hi guys, and welcome to another brand new episode of the Poseidon God of Water 20 show. Wow, we are doing famously well for ourselves. And let's get on with the show. As I did hear about this young lad who left primary school in June and moved on to his secondary school in October, the start of their autumn term. So it was only a two month autumn term from where he stands, October to December. Well, that's three months, but anyway. And as soon as he got to year seven, he started getting picked on by bullies. And that lasted throughout the whole of that term. And every time he tried to tell the teachers, they ignored him. Because they considered him to be seeking attention. What I just told you then was a tale, it's not true. But what is true, is you're about to see this animation. I never realized how good this show was. Until now. Lily, aren't the elders coming to take you out? It's Friday, remember? They're out on their mission. Which you're a part of, dear girl. So we are here to take you out with us. Okay, let's go. I'd better get ready for my lesson with the sisters. They'll be here soon. Who would have thought it? Lily and Roscoe. Two of the newest members of the Mormon faith, both adapting well to their new lifestyle. I'm so proud of them. My youngest two siblings are Mormons. Why would you let such a thing happen to them? This has got to be a dream. It can't be real. It was all just a crazy daydream. Me and Roscoe. Mormons? Never. Lily, you've been up here for three hours now. I think you've learned your lesson. Why was I sent up here? I sent you up here for being naughty. Three hours is long enough. Too fucking long if you ask me. That's it. You are now grounded for two weeks. How dare you say such a naughty word. You are so very naughty. You can now stay up here for another couple of hours. Naughty girl. Okay guys, that was our animation for this episode. I'm afraid... I can't make any new animations for now. So you just have to make do with the old ones. Anyway... Uh, Fire and Fred... Oh my. Sorry guys, he still can't make it. That big job is still going. So. I'm afraid that it's almost time for goodbyes and good nights again. So, what do you say before things start to get loose? We say that now. And I'll see you next time. Until then, have a good night.